Hey, it's Alex from European Coffee Trip and in this video we are visiting probably the oldest coffee roastery in the world. It's in Emmerich, Germany. It's called Van Gulpen and they started roasting in 1832. So check it out. Hello, uh, it's Alex from European Coffee Trip. Yeah, thank you. Hello, this is Rene. Nice, nice, nice to meet you. Good to see you again. Hey. Welcome. How are you? Yeah. We are at our roastery, uh, the Van Gulpen Coffee Roasters, and um, I'm running the roastery in the sixth generation now. Our roastery was founded in 1832, and we started as an importer for green coffee. We're the oldest company where the family is still, still um, the owner of the company. After a few years, um, the son of our founder had the idea that you could sell the coffee roasted. So until then, it was usual that you buy the green coffee and that you uh, roasted at home. So, um, so he experimented in his garage and then he came up with a huge drum and uh, found uh, a guy called Theodor von Gimborn. And uh, then together they started um, Emmericher Eisengießerei und Maschinenfabrik van Gülpen, Lensing und van Gülpen, which is now known as uh, Probart. So yeah, that's actually the model where um, the Probart company started with. It's an old bull roaster made by uh, yeah, the, the Probart company. And this is how you were <laughs> probably rotating it for quite some time in order to roast coffee back then. I think it's probably from 1910 or something like that. Those are all von Gülpen roasters. Somewhere there's a ball roast as well. So yeah, that's the old drum roaster. In the 1960s, it was all about uh, making the cheapest coffee in Germany. And from around 1,000 roasteries in Germany, it got down to maybe 20 or 30 roasteries because all the roasteries died due to the cheap prices and, and the low prices of uh, roasted coffee. Uh, there was a point where my grandfather decided to uh, focus exclusively on specialty coffee, which maybe was called more gourmet coffee back then, but, and that was the way he survived with the company in that small, very small market of gourmet or specialty coffee back then. And uh, yeah, that was the point where we started making specialty coffee. So the grandfather is the one who brought the specialty coffee? Yeah. Yeah, that was the first uh, uh, specialty coffee, actually which you wouldn't consider specialty coffee nowadays, but yeah, that was uh, uh, the first brand for gourmet coffee back then. So it was the, the, the Royal. Yeah, and that was where, where the logo and where the lion was established. That is actually the, the Lion of Judah for, from the Ethiopian flag. Back then we were called uh, Royal Coffee, and uh, the, the biggest challenge for me was making the trip from a second wave specialty roaster to a third wave specialty roaster. So uh, five years ago we introduced the name von Gülpen back to the company, which is still our family name and which was the name of one of the founders and always have been, has been in the company. So this is the, the current packaging from von Gülpen. It seems it was uh, one of the very first uh, boxes for coffee in, in Europe, but we get an uh, even older <laughs> box for coffee that's from what? 1950. 1950. So it's not a new thing as we might think. <laughs> it was a turning point for our company when we started to make a specialty coffee and we had so much focus on Ethiopian coffee back then. And Ethiopian coffee plays such a big role until now and we still like it so much. What do you like about the coffee from Ethiopia? Um, it's all about it. It's a, it's, a, it's a freshness. It's actually a re refreshing coffee. Then the elegance, the cleanness, then the sweetness. And you can do so many things with it. You can roast it very lightly and, and it tastes good. And because roast it a bit darker, then you get much more body and it tastes pretty good. Even when you roast a bit of uh, roasting flavors in it, it still tastes good because it has that distinctive freshness in it. So it's, uh, yeah, it has uh, so much potential for tasting so much different. So yeah, everything about it is great. And it tastes so pure and, and, and like coffee should taste, actually. So we are going to see the roastery right now. That's an uh, old G90 from 1939. Um, yeah, that's part of the old heritage, right? Yeah. Big old <laughs> machine, but it's very sturdy. It's still running pretty smooth. And that machine we roast batches from 40 to 70 kilos. Um, here we have our UG22. We bought it, uh, I think, three and a half years ago. Um, yeah, that's a great roaster. We are an old company, but we like uh, modern coffees and we like to, to roast modern coffees. We like to roast them uh, quite light but developed, and that's our uh, identity actually. Yeah, an old roastery, but with a modern approach actually. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> 
it's Radek from European Coffee Trip. I was actually the whole time behind the camera, but I hope you enjoyed this video. It's cool to see the old roastery transition into third wave coffee. We also got some great samples from Kenya, so we will enjoy it in the Brno in our office. But yeah, this is the end. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next week in the next video. Bye bye.